okay so then actually yesterday we are discussing that uh, uh, no instance member so how to we are creating that uh, non static method how to we are accessing that uh, uh, class level non static variable so like this concept we are yesterday discussed and a few uh, introduction things we are discussed about constructor guides okay so today's session just repeat this one then we'll do uh, how constructor is working then we are combining so instance member and static member then we are implementing one program okay guys so let's start so then go to our not what Yeah. Then do the date is nineteen August. Okay. Okay. Yes. So then. So today we will discuss that uh, instance member, instance member, okay, then also we discuss that uh, static member, static already, all those things discuss, static member, then constructor. This thing actually today's session we will discuss, today's session will cover these many things okay guys so instance member means the member that doesn't include any static okay any static keyword it's called instance member okay if when instant member call instant member calling if object if you need to call without static okay without static means wh whenever you try to calling instant member in this case object is required guys okay then static member we can call directly okay then constructor are also there okay guys so all those things already we cover so in instance member how we are calling static member how we are calling constructor how we are creating so last session all those things I covered okay today's session also I repeat those things then I will combining one program then I uh, I will say so first things are going on under this okay guys so last session whatever things I teach all are clear or not all are able to run that uh, uh, program last session program all are able to run or anybody facing any issue okay okay all are able to run or no? anybody facing issue please tell me so like this actually I will plan because this things is very important guys if you neglect these things currently then it will be very difficult okay guys okay then proceed now okay So guys look here, so I will create here one program then I will explain everything one by one. Okay, so I will create here one fresh program. Okay, so file, new, java project, okay, then project name I put here, 
combined program combined project okay combined project then next then finish now combined project is ready i navigate here combined project then i go here right click okay then new then package okay guys i put here the uh, package name so package name is com dot okay com dot software engineer builder okay guys then i create here class okay look here class name is i create simply test class okay look here guys our package is ready then class is ready then i need to create main method okay guys now look here main method is ready okay so then now first we are implementing constructor okay first we are implementing already instance member and static member all those things already ex i explained so few con constructor thing yesterday i explained so today i will cover that constructor things then after that i will explain uh, again that the static instant member and constructor all those things i will include and i will uh, implementing one java program okay guys so uh, yesterday i told so by default uh, every zero param constructor or empty constructor created if you not creating in here any constructor guys so compiler will create by default zero param constructor okay so how we are creating constructor so actually yesterday i told guys go to the class level okay so we are just implementing here public okay public then class name as a test okay class name then parenthesis then open bracket close bracket look here guys like this way we are creating constructor so uh, yesterday actually i explained so how to creating object so and few uh, example of constructor okay but uh, really constructor we are creating like this we are using a public keyword other, otherwise you, you can use directly test keyword okay but uh, guys constructor name should be our class name okay this is one constructor okay guys under one class you can create multiple constructor guys okay if you are creating the multiple constructor then that the constructor parameter should be different okay guys if you create here look if you create here one more constructor that is public test public test you can put here okay you can put here look guys guys here if you create this, this same things here is test constructor is there again if you try to create that same constructor okay then you are getting issue okay look guys so duplicate constructor duplicate constructor no allowed. so for that actually what we will do for that actually we need to change its parameter parameter means guys so under constructor uh, we need to pass any variable any arguments so uh, like this so like i pass here int a look guys if i pass here int a then it will be it will be that uh, error is gone so basically guys so last session i told what uh, so the constructor we are using to initializing initializing variable okay so last session i already told so basically constructor we are using for initialization purpose okay look here so then uh, what happened Let, let's assume here one variable is there int a so previously guys what i did so uh, every time every time i assign their their variable directly i assign okay but uh, what happened 
I I will initializing those variable via constructor. For that actually what I do, uh, for that actually, uh, for uh, I need to initializing here. Okay, I need to initializing a by using constructor. Okay, how I will initializing a by using constructor, guys? Just look here if you not understand if you not catching so uh, ask me again so one time i will explain currently then again i will repeat also okay so no worry guys so basically remember one thing constructor we are using initializing constructor we are using for initializing variable guys okay whatever variable you define so that's purpose we are using constructor previously what i did previously uh, directly uh, int a equal to 10 i directly assigned there okay but uh, currently i am not assigning that class level variable directly so i just uh, assigning by via constructor okay via constructor i need to assigning our class level variable okay for that actually how we will access this one so look here if he, if i access this class level variable how will access we just calling here we just calling here this this dot a this sorry this dot a this dot a equal to a Look guys, here is A is there, okay, A is there, but uh, I want to access those A, so how I will access, so I just calling in this A, look, here is A is there, okay, then again, here A is there, this is present under class level, this is present under a constructor, so whatever things are present in class level so that thing access purpose we need this keyword guys basically uh, this keyword present under constructor and under non-static method no worry for that guys so i will explain also again so under constructor and or uh, non-static method how it will be present so no worry so but uh, up to now so let assume one thing you think so in class level whatever variable are defined those variable accessing purpose this keyword is required okay if this variable name is separate guys if this variable name is b okay so here 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 look here what happened if this variable name is b so they are not required this square okay but if variable name is same variable name is same a so here if you want to accessing this class level variable first we are using this one keyword then after that you are using dot then after that one say that variable name a okay if i using this type then that variable will be initialized so look guys how that variable value will be printing how the variable is initializing okay so let's we are creating object here okay so actually last time i told you how we are creating object first thing is we are putting the class name so class name is test okay test we are putting object name is like you think obg okay then we are using assignment operator then guys next thing is next rule is i told yesterday we are using new keyword okay then after that I told yesterday what so we need to put again class name okay then after that we need to put parenthesis okay guys then after that we need to put in semicolon this is guys this is zero param constructor or empty constructor we are calling but as our requirement we need to calling parameter constructor because my thinking is we need to initializing these variable guys so for that how we are calling parameter constructor look guys here so here is test int a is there okay test int a is there so how we are calling so for that we directly passing here we, if 
you need to calling this constructor so for that we need to passing its argument here okay this is a parameter int a is a parameter for int a parameter purpose we need to passing here its argument uh, it is a int no so its argument how we can put we can pass directly here 10 okay guys then after that look here then i need to printing this variable how i will accessing this one look guys here so objects object hello so object value access purpose how will access so we can print here like this obj obj dot a okay so what's output will come please check so just right click here run it java application look guys so directly here output is coming 10 yes or no so previously how we are setting that value previously we are setting that value by directly object reference okay if i if i using this uh, here i will show two comparison okay about this constructor okay let assume i committed this one okay okay i committed this one I will go that to first constructor by using first constructor how I will uh, accessing this one. Okay, look guys here. So I just creating object test obj sorry obj1 equal to new test. Okay, new test then again i need to initializing alternate way by using this constructor by using zero param constructor we need to initializing this variable for that actually how what we'll do for that actually i need to here first we need to oh, adding okay uh, their value so how will add so yesterday i told so obj1 dot a equal to 20 guys okay then also we need to print also we need to print also then also we need to printing so like this we also okay guys like this we also we need to printing this value object empty constructor empty constructor okay for empty constructor how we are initializing value and zero param constructor how we are initializing value look to comparison here look as these two difference you you look here okay so i will uncomment this one then again i will explain okay guys so i just run here then check that output then i will explain first output is guys that is object value output you can put here that is parameter constructor parameter constructor okay the parameter constructor value empty constructor value again i will run here look here two reference cat so actually yesterday session guys i told constructor we are using initializing purpose okay first point guys remember constructor we are using initializing purpose my first motto is basically we are using constructor as a initialization okay so what things we need to initialize so whatever variable we are defining 
under class level okay those variable we are initializing actually previously what we did previously we are initializing like this way int a equal to 30 like this way variable creation okay variable creation and initialization here is this statement means variable creation creation with initialization okay this statement means variable creation with initialization guys it's meaning this one at a time we are creating variable then we are assigning value it's meaning this one but this statement means only variable creation variable creation as my motto is constructor we are using variable initialization purpose okay so look here this statement means variable creation and initialization but this not good because this is a hard-coded things okay this not good in real time okay but this statement means only variable creation okay if I create variable, I need to assign some value, no? right? So, they are assigning a multiple way. First way is, I define here, look here, empty constructor. Okay, guys. Empty constructor means, if you want to create, you can create. If you not want to create, that compiler will create automatically. That's not issue. Okay then two thing uh, second one is parameter constructor parameter constructor means like this we need to design parameter means under constructor we need to passing some parameter like this int a or uh, anything in a string s car c so anything you can pass like this okay this is called parameter constructor but guys one thing remember how will initializing this variable okay how will initializing this one okay this one accessing purpose guys this variable i need to access okay for that actually guys what i did know so i use one keyword like this keyword then uh, this dot i use its variable name if i use here this dot this variable name then it's directly calling here okay guys if i not using this it's not calling because this uh, we are calling this one okay if i you calling this dot this variable then it is directly calling this one then after that uh, we are using a a means given a uh, if you want to calling class level so we are using this dot a if you want to calling that uh, local local variable we are directly we are putting that variable name okay this dot air meaning this variable okay but uh, only air meaning guys only air meaning that this variable okay so like this way we are implementing parameter constructor okay guys look here if I using parameter if I if I want to accessing this constructor how will design so actually yesterday guys i told so how we are designing that object how we are creating that object i told you first thing what so first is initially we put first class name second we put any variable name okay we are putting any variable name then we are putting that uh, operator then we are putting that new keyword okay then we are putting that class name okay then we are putting that parathesis okay but i want to accessing this constructor okay this constructor purpose actually i i based on this one so i directly passing 10 because look here int a int a which value content look here int a here is we are creating int a so it's present under int a it's present also here in a okay guys 
then after that i need to sending some value no like 30 or anything so for that actually i pass here 10 okay so like this we are creating parameter variable then i need to accessing those variable it's which things is printing look here so i put it here system dot out dot print ln then i put it i i want to accessing this variable okay this variable accessing purpose what i put here so i just put here obj dot a obj dot a means uh, it's coming to here this variable it will be accessing okay guys then second thing second thing is i will initializing uh, without using this constructor okay i will initializing without using this constructor this is also one way this is also one alternative way by using this constructor we need to initializing okay for that actually what i did here look here for that actually uh, first i create its object then again i need to putting initialization purpose i need to adding here value obj1 dot a okay then i assign someone some value then directly i call here okay like this way actually guys we need to calling that empty constructor and parameter constructor like this way we need to calling okay guys all are understood or not if you already can define and assign variable that value is in class level and method level then what's the huge purpose to advantage of using constructor if we already define or assigning variable their value in class level okay class level okay assigning variable class level then method level then what's huge the purpose look guys if you directly assigning that value in class level this is a hard coded okay guys hardcoded value are not allowed in real time because in real time we are facing one thing remember guys so let assume i will giving one example okay okay i will explain something one second no worry so let assume perhaps assume one thing okay in real time no guys so if you going to any implementation in real time data will coming from database or data will coming some from front end or data will coming some application property or data will coming vm or common line or like this way so multiple way so data will coming okay based on this data we need to initializing that variable okay if i directly hard coded there so uh, it will be not dynamically because in real time nothing allowed to hard coded things so everything we need to putting dynamically if i uh, designing hard coded because in future okay uh, in future let assume currently your age is okay currently your age is let 25 okay in future after two years okay your age is 27 if if in programmatically if i put it, um, your age is 25 okay but uh, in future if i try to change uh, your age is instead of 25 we need to change it 27 so again i need to go our program under program i need to implement but uh, by using ui by using these things we cannot uh, implementing okay because we are implemented there are hard coded thing no but not dynamically dynamically means every time whatever things you want every time you can change okay but uh, then class uh, okay then any question Haraj, any question you got or uh, any doubt okay okay guys then subjan no please explain again okay okay i will explain again look here guess first thing you remember one thing okay what is that first point is we are using constructor as a initialization purpose what my one motto is we are creating constructor we need to initializing something for initialization purpose i need to use constructor guys 
look guys first one forget about all those things what i explain here so please focus that one first one first one what i define here i define here int a equal to 30 it means guys what it means variable creation with initialization because int a equal to 30 30 is value okay when means initialization we can say that is initialization and int a is variable creation okay then both thing here done so one is creation with initialization okay if i using this creation with initialization it's a hard coded things okay nobody use real time nobody use programmatically every program you cannot it if you starting learning you should you put like this way because this is this is your initial periods okay initial period you can putting like this way but it's not good we, we are not initializing like this way we need to initializing by dynamically okay dynamically initialization purpose okay guys i need to define variable like this way okay int a equal to a or int b int b like this int c like this we need to defining like this we need to not putting any value not assigning any value here how we are initializing we are initializing these things by using constructor guys constructor is there so by using constructor we are initializing these things because i told from initial parts onwards so constructor basically using as a initialization purpose okay guys then understand that first things first constructor by using this constructor how we are initializing so guys i think all are clear how to designing constructor so constructor basically we are designing by using class name then parenthesis again i will tell you guys how how we are designing constructor we can put let we are putting here uh, as said uh, accessory modifier public then we are putting here that class name whatever class name is there so we are putting this one then we are putting open bracket close bracket okay guys then i i close these things okay this is one type of constructor designing okay this is called empty constructor guys if you are not creating like this constructor that construct automatically created that will created by compiler guys no worry for that okay constructor designing like this okay then second way also we need to designing constructor like this so we need to designing constructor public test same thing guys so instead of zero param instead of zero param means empty means guys i'm not passing anything under under this constructor under these things okay we are not passing anything look here instead of zero param constructor i need to passing some value this is second way to design constructor this is first way okay this is one type designing constructor this is another type designing constructor okay guys so this is parameter constructor for that actually whatever variable i define here i need to initializing let us assume one thing i need to initializing one variable okay for that actually which variable i need to initializing this variable i pass here directly just directly i go there okay directly i go there and copy okay then and then i put here I paste here okay then I need to accessing these things so for that actually I use one more keyword this keyword then I need to use this is a rule guys you should remember this rule okay this keyword then I need to putting this value this a then I need to assigning here okay guys so uh, this a I put right side up to this clear guys no worry for others up to this clears how can huge enter 
his okay in real time data will come from database or front end from like that that's why we use constructor if we already initialize value then how can a user enter his actualize actual data rights look here for us so this is we need to writing that implementation logic here in real time look here i pass no uh, i'll show you one things look here here passing uh, here passing uh, directly hard coded value no but in real time we not passing here directly hard coded value okay this value this 10 actually here what i did we are going to we are going step by step guys so first step is uh, directly directly i define here value okay i creating variable and initializing okay second step is here 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 i create only variable not initializing then um, initial where i initialize i initialize here guys third step is uh, another step is i will initialize variable by dynamically here is i i hard coded guys currently here i hard coded i'm um, not hard coded here okay but in real time what happened no we are not passing here also everywhere i i need to write implementation logic okay because if i hard coded here no so then also we are getting problem then also it's also one type of hard coder but we are going slowly slowly if i going slowly slowly then it will be everything will be covered if I, at a time if i doing all those things guys then in that time you guys will confuse because you are not aware much if you know i understood but you are not aware much so if i directly implement some real time logic so then in that time you will be confused so everything i will explain so by step by step then you guys uh, you guys to catch very easily okay any question yes 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 paraj okay anybody understood these two constructor or any doubt no worry if you facing any doubt if you having any doubt please let me know so everything i will clear anybody others all are clear this two constructor how to designing parameter constructor how to designing that uh, uh, empty constructor two things you guys clear or not if you have any doubt please let me know these two things only these two things you guys clear or not how to designing parameter constructor how to designing empty constructor others all are clear please if you have any doubt please let me know because uh, how i know if you have doubt or not okay if you are if you are not telling means by default yes clear okay then proceed then guys look here so how i designing this parameter constructor here is empty constructor another constructor is i created here that is uh, parameter constructor by using this constructor i initialize only this variable okay guys only this variable by using this constructor we are initializing only this variable but i want guys i want that initializing all those variable for that guys i need to creating one more constructor okay we need to designing like this for this way is we are not initializing directly passing argument here but we are setting value by using constructor we need to setting value here is this way means we are directly passing arguments under constructor then we are initializing okay then this way is guys i will 
using I will create here one more constructor public test then I do I putting here whatever variable is defined in class level int a comma then int b comma then int c comma okay guys then I put it brackets look here then I need to accessing and initializing this variable for that actually what I did here so I did here this dot a this dot a means class level a equal to assigning what we say assigning this a okay this a for put I putting here directly a okay guys then second is this dot b okay this dot b b means this class level b okay then I initializing here so which b this b okay so directly putting this b okay then guys third is this dot c okay guys then this dot c means this c guys this class level c okay then putting c c means this c okay guys first thing is empty constructor by empty constructor we are not having any parameter okay second thing is parameter constructor but by using this constructor we are initializing only this variable guys we are initializing only this variable int a for int a initialization purpose we are using this constructor guys okay because here having only one only one parameter how much parameter are there present under parenthesis so we are initializing those variable only but i want guys initializing all those variable initializing all those variable by using one single constructor like this we need to design whatever variable are there i need to passing all those things under parenthesis then i want to accessing this this variable so by every every time that's why we are using this 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 then dot a b c then i putting here a b c so like this guys i need to defining variable okay guys so first case first case zero parameter constructor by using zero parameter constructor guys so zero part parameter constructor means look here when we are creating when we are creating that object so in that time we need to using these things okay constructor no guys we need to using these things we are not passing anything so for that actually so how we are de designing object by using zero param constructor means by using this way so look here so here we are not using anything okay here we are not using anything guys so everything are present there so what i did here so i use here zero param constructor zero param constructor means guys no need to passing anything that is empty constructor okay guys for that actually i need to setting value so how will setting value uh, i need to initializing this is the other way no worry guys now only focus here zero param constructor for zero param constructor purpose how we are initializing by using this constructor how we are initializing all those variable guys by using this constructor i need to initializing by setting value whatever first thing is i create its object okay i create its object so whatever parameter whatever constructor are there so i pass same thing is here okay then like this way we are designing then how we are initializing there so i just take its referent, reference so by using this reference i put it here 20 then i want to putting i want to initializing other variable obj obj1 dot one more is there b b means i uh, passing here 50 okay means here that variable initializing 50 here we putting 50 then i need to putting 
ओ बीज ओ बी जे वन डॉट पट डॉट सी देन आई पुटिंग हेयर सेवेंटी ओके सो लाइक दिस वे लाइक दिस वे गैस आई नीड टू डिफाइनिंग आई नीड टू इनिशियलाइजिंग दिस वेरिएबल ओके ओके वन मिनट गैस सो अर्जेंट One minute, guys. I have one urgent call. One minute. Hello. Oh, the cement. ठीक है मोटे हाँ मु मुझे ईयर कॉल अच्छी कॉल अच्छी तो मैंने खुली के पढ़े थे टाइम लगी हो खाली सब उछाव वाले क्वेश्चन ठीक है पढ़े को मैंने सोल्लर दस मिनट दस मिनट पढ़ पड़ो ची हाँ तो तो दस मिनट उनको सुबह को सुबह तो कोई तीन सुबह कर सुबह सुबह मुझ पढ़ो जी पढ़े जी मेरा सुबह पढ़े जी मतलब हाँ हाँ रखो मैं कॉल को करते हैं ओके गैस, ओके, ओके ओके गाइस सो आर यू ऑल आर एबल टू माय लिसन माय बस गाइस प्लीज पिंग ऑल आर एबल टू लिसन माय बस ओके ओके देन आई विल प्रोसीड हियर सो लुक हियर सो by using empty constructor okay by using empty constructor we are initializing like this way okay this is one type of initializing our variables okay by using this way we are initializing our class level variable okay then second way second way is guys what second way is by using this type of constructor we need to creating object by using this constructor by using following this constructor we need to creating object so how we are following so look here so same thing we are creating constructor under we are passing its variable here is one a is present sorry one uh, int a is present 
for that actually I pass here one argument. Okay, third way. Okay, third way is guys. So like test obj three obj three equal to new test. Okay, look here. I follow this constructor guys by using this constructor we need to creating object okay third one that is third way so for that actually yes here three parameter is there one is a int a one other is int b another is int c so like this we need to passing here three value so we need to passing here three value like 100 101, 102. Okay, like this, we need to passing three value. I need to printing. They are also initializing three things or not. This out. Okay, guys. First one is value a. Value a. Value is that is obj three dot. A. Okay, guys. This is first one. Comma. Then second one. Second one is we are passing here. B. Okay. Then we are putting here. O B J three. Dot B. Then comma. Then I need to printing third variable. So what is that? C colon cross operator then obj3 dot c <clears throat> okay Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, guys. I put it here multiple, it's not allowing. Okay, guys, so uh, let's need to run here. So, what type of output will come? Look here. Look, first case, I initializing. This is first case no control X control P. This is first way. This is first way. Okay, then this is this is guys second way. Second way, way, then this is guess third way. Look here the way of designing, then the way of accessing. Accessing, look here everywhere. Accessing format is same. So, what is that accessing format? Accessing format means printing format everywhere. Initializing format is different. First case is. We are just creating by using empty constructor. By using an empty constructor, we are creating uh, object like this. Okay, means we not we not passing anything under constructor. Then we are initializing like this way by using obj one dot a, obj two, uh, obj one dot b, obj one dot c. By using like this way, we are initializing. Then accessing accessing means printing. Printing is everywhere same. So obj one a here is also second way also printing process same obj one and dot a third way also printing process same uh, obj three dot a obj three dot b obj three dot c printing process same but initializing process is difference first way is initializing process is like this second way is initializing process look here second object I created based on this constructor 
based on second constructor i create that second way initialization process second constructor what i pass there so i just creating one constructor and passing one value because look here i created i put it here one value so that's why we are passing here one value okay third way is we are following this constructor here is three parameter are there okay three parameter are there so by use by following this one I passing in I creating object like this and passing three value then printing the, like this way okay guys all are clear or any doubt if you have any doubt please ask again again I will explain no worry for that Okay. Okay. Anybody? Any doubt? How to creating constructor? How to designing? Okay, I will share. I will share. Yes, sir. No worry. Yeah, tell me. Tell me, Faraj. Faraj, tell me what are your doubts. As you said, even if you don't create empty constructor, okay, compiler it's create. Yes, compiler will create. Yes, for us. If you're not creating empty constructor, then compiler will create by default. That is. Anybody? Any doubt? Please confirm it. So. Can we initialize value without creating empty constructor? So once, so once this by, okay, okay, I will show you here. No, worry. so I will remove everything. I will show you. Just a minute. So, so. We can initialize value without creating empty constructor. So once this by removing empty constructor. Okay. Okay. I'll show you. So look here. So up to all those things all are clear or not then i will remove so faraj was asking one doubt so i will remove all the thing and create empty constructor so all are clear up to this what i underst understand here so all are understood or not yes clear okay so let's take i take here as a backup okay control a control c and i put it your Notes also under notes I put all these things. Okay. Okay. Then look here, guys. So I need to removing all those things. Okay. Otherwise, okay. so whatever things i did here whatever things i implement here i remove everything here okay let's remove then i remove all those constructor also remove all those constructor look here here it's not available any single constructor okay if let us only int a only int a is present there is not available any single
constructor but i want to initialize it a variable so how we are initializing for initialization purpose actually guys we need constructor but i told so zero param constructor or empty constructor automatically created by compiler no not no need to create your own okay let's we'll test here that object is created or not if the object is created if we are initializing successfully this variable then we understood the zero parameter constructor is automatically created constructor okay let's we are creating object okay test test t okay test t equal to new test okay test t equal to new test look here so object is created object is created means that the constructor is zero param constructor is automatically created let's initializing this variable so t dot a t dot a equal to let's 300 okay let's i need to printing this one okay sys out okay let's zero per empty constructor constructors empty constructor called okay empty constructor called let's its value i pass here that is Okay, I directly printing here e dot a. Look here, and what's output will come? Look here, that value is thirty. Well, we are initializing here, no? Sorry, the value is three hundred. We are initializing here, no? Three hundred. So, look here, how we are object created? Here we identify, no? That uh, if we are not creating zero param constructor then that uh, compiler will creating this type of constructor okay look here uh, uh, now you are uh, you, you have doubt so then we need to try so one more parameter constructor that parameter constructor will uh, compiler create or not we need to check no so look here if i checking if i creating here any parameter constructor look here test P2 equal to new okay then if I passing any parameter value like 100 sorry if I passing any parameter value like 100 look here there issue is coming what issue look here the constructor test int is undefined undefined means it's not created it's not created in class level okay if i creating uh, for a look initially it's not created so that's why it's giving issue if i created if i created public public test test india public test india this dot a equal to a okay if i created look here if i created here then this error is gone okay guys if i created here this error is gone okay so actually like this way we need to test our empty constructor but here is one error is coming so i will explain that one also but uh, if i explain uh, look up to this all thing are clear or not then this error i will telling so why this error will coming okay 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 so so like this like this the we need to test that empty constructor is created okay so again look here again why we are getting this type of issue 
you are thinking no so if i if i creating that uh, parameter constructor here so why we are getting this type of issue actually guess so empty constructor if in your class if you think you you are not required uh, more than empty constructor you are not required uh, except empty constructor uh, constructor uh, other things is not required in this case we don't need to create uh, empty constructor in class level if you think uh, i i need empty i need to two three more par parameter constructor and again i need also empty constructor okay so in this time we need to manually create here that empty constructor public test look then the error is gone if any single constructor except empty constructor if you want to cre uh, create any single constructor then in the time you you need to create your empty constructor okay if you think i don't want any other constructor i want only single constructor so in this time no need to creating no need to creating that empty constructor in class level okay that constructor will be created by compiler okay guys all are clear or any doubt so please let me know if you are facing any single doubt so please let me know i will give its example and its clarification also to give command to compiler that we need to do constructor for this we need to write empty constructor manually understood sir yes yes hmm. okay so faraj your old out are clear then other guys all are clear or any face anybody facing any single doubt any little doubt if you are facing no, let me know anybody anybody facing any single doubt any little part you are not guessing so please let me know i will explain again and again how much time you are not getting not guessing so i will explain i have no worry okay but my motto is you should all are catching all the things and very quickly you should test very quickly you need to get job if you clear or if you taking all the concept very clearly then definitely definitely within three four month you will get job that is my promise definitely but uh, your thing is you need to do hard work more and more you need to do hard work then whatever concept i provide here so all those very important concept so please take serious and accept all those things then in future definitely three four months after definitely you will get job then your life will be settled but do hard work guys other guys anybody facing any issue please let me know i will explain again and again no problem for me but you should be catch that one please let me know otherwise we'll proceed or we'll conclude here the session anybody guys please ping here so you are clear or not otherwise i will share this session also okay today i will share this session if you are not get, getting so you can look you can see again also this session how much time you are not getting how much time you are not understanding so you can uh, look this session you can practice this session then you will get okay 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 all are so please practice so i will upload this session today i will upload this session record 
if you have so you can uh, again see this record video then practice okay today i conclude here that session because uh, almost 11:25 uh, okay 11:24:25 is time is there so okay last session will monday but before that you practice guys uh, before whatever from my initial day onwards so whatever topic i discuss so please practice okay so after few days i will schedule one word mock interview yes mock interview means guys uh, whatever things are real time going on okay everything everything every process i will conducting mock interview i will setting for that actually guys you will get more clarity and then you are also interview also practice so that's why whatever things i provide up to this you should be practice on that so if i schedule that mock interview mock interview i will asking only whatever concept i discuss okay that thing only i will uh, ask so please be practice like this so for that actually if you practice like this no your future will be bright okay for it so safian i will seen once the ask the doubt okay okay guys you should practice then next session will be monday so today i conclude here so see you monday okay bye